I look like a Who from Whoville. But less cute. Good morning everyone. Um, it feels weird that you're kind of in bed with me. <sighs> wow. What was that? I look, I look 10 out of 10 in the morning. Um, well, before I get started, there is an essential I need. Ooh. Okay, I feel more ready now. It is way too early, meaning that it's like half 8 a.m., which is pretty early for me. So today I wanted to film a follow me around day in the life day. I tried to film one of these last week and then I accidentally um, woke up at like 1 p.m. in the afternoon and I was like, can't really do a day in the life when I've only got like six hours of my day left. So, so today I have two lectures, one at 10 a.m. and one at 5 p.m., which is like so mean. Like I have one lecture at 10 a.m. and one at 5 p.m. Like what am I gonna do with myself between them? Ugh, I don't know. I'm gonna have some breakfast, I'm gonna go to gym, and then I'm gonna go to my lecture at 10. All in like an hour and a half. Let's see how well that happens. Look. Ah, we have light. Basically, I'm pretty bad at eating breakfast in the morning, and by that I mean I'm very happy to just kind of like have a piece of fruit, have a coffee, and leave. But because I'm going to the gym a lot now, I'm trying to make more of an effort to make whole meals in the morning. Because it always gets to like 10 a.m. and I'm really hungry and I just snack. So I'm trying to avoid that. I don't know, I just kind of went to Holland and Barrett and chose out something that looked quite healthy. Don't tell anyone. I'm an amateur. I don't know what I'm doing. Shh. I mean, it says everything. I'm having to read the instructions to make porridge. I feel like that's like a basic life skill I should probably know. I don't actually know if this will taste very nice, but it's- <gasps> Ow. Sorry, I was in the microwave and I burnt my finger. <laughs> Drama. Okay, so reviews on breakfast this morning. Mm, it was okay. It was like a, it was like a six out of ten. It wasn't sweet enough, I don't think. It really wasn't. Like I could like sit here for hours eating blueberries, but it just wasn't very sweet. And I feel like if I eat, if I add sugar, it just kind of takes away from the health. So we'll see how long this eating pattern lasts. <laughs> I don't really like to wear too much makeup on a weekday. Mainly because I'm lazy. <laughs> and also I don't really like the feeling of like really heavy makeup on my face. So I will probably just do some eyeliner, mascara and a bit of concealer. So people don't think I've only had six hours sleep. So now I have my actual face sorted, kind of. Um, I need to pack my bag. I need to recheck where this lecture theatre is because I've never been to this lecture theatre before and I just know, I can already tell, I'm gonna get lost. And then it's time to go because time is ticking away, ticking, ticking, ticking away. Here is my bag for uni and now I need to pack it with all the things I need for the rest of the day. Okay, so as you can see, I have my jumper on, my coat, my headphones. <sighs> it's time to go. I think we could do it. Some fun facts about Bristol University. First is, I live pretty close to campus, which means that I literally walked about 50 meters from my house. And as you can see by those iron gates, I have crossed the border onto university property. So normally my lectures take about 10 to 15 minutes to get to for each one. This one is slightly further away. As I said before, I've never been to it, so I'm actually genuinely scared that I may never find this lecture theatre this morning. I've been at this university for three years, and I still have genuine fears that I may get lost. This is our beautiful law school. Um, it's very stony, very old, very classic. Um, I have most of my lectures and my tutorials in here. So this is where I spend most of my life. It's also where we have our library, which is in this big brick column behind me, which I'll take you to later. But right now I'm late for a lecture, so I should probably do that. <laughs> what a strangely handy sign. I feel like someone's leading me down a dark path to murder.
shortly. They're not in here. Down this side path. Okay, so first lecture finished. <laughs> Refusing to be in it altogether. We're gonna go and get coffee now. Caffeine is very much needed. Okay, so going up one of the many hills in Bristol. Just finished my first lecture and had a lot of coffee. So if I sound like I'm tripping over my words it's because I've had far too much caffeine this morning. I'm now going to go to the gym because, <laughs> because I didn't this morning. And then after I've gone to the gym, I'm gonna have some lunch and then finally try and do some work in the library because I've been so bad with just like sitting down, concentrating and getting stuff done. The thing about law is that it's a degree where you do have to put a lot of time into just reading by yourself. Um, even if you're not in lectures, you have to go to libraries, sit down and do quite a lot of reading. So I need to do <laughs> that. to be that interesting because I got your, your day that you were meant to do in the life was a good day and you did which day but it was too busy I explained this earlier I accidentally sl I slept in that day I missed my first lecture I, I woke up at one yeah Wait, is that a new jacket uh no it's one that I wore it's last day in the <laughs> I bought it especially for the vlog I got lost on the way to my lecture what lost? Lost. Oh my gosh. What did you get? Um, my lecture was St. George's Church. What? what? Outfit change. For bam. I'm no longer fitness guru Eve. I'm cool and quirky Eve. I don't know whether you can relate to this pain or maybe you're just too clever to put yourself through it. But I washed every single pair of my jeans last night. So yeah, being left with these. These bad boys. I'm not opposed to them, but I definitely don't love them. <laughs> so as you can tell on days like these, I don't actually spend that much time at home. I'm quite often just mostly on campus and then I'll come home for lunch or I'll come home for a shower to get changed after the gym. So now I'm gonna quickly pack my bag, get my coat on and head out to the library and try and be productive. Oh, it's raining. Oh, October in Bristol. Very wet. So, I've just come out of my last lecture of the day. I'm absolutely shattered. For some reason, although I've only been in actual contact hours for two hours today, feels like I've just had a full day of working 
I'm running around and trying to get to places on time and now I'm really hungry so I'm at this really cool place on campus at the moment which looks over it's like a high-rise it's super pretty and I thought I'd just come here to end today's vlog um, I really enjoyed taking my camera around today I don't know whether it's been interesting at all it might not have been and if it hasn't been let me know down below and I won't do this again but if you'd like to see more of what I do in my life how I manage to get myself from place to place which to be honest is questionable because I always seem to be late or rushing or really hungry yeah, those three, that's me. I'd be really interested to know if any of you are at university or college, what are you currently studying? Are you at high school? Are you at college? Are you at school? What does your day look like? Let me know. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're new. And I will see you very soon. Bye. Oh, I'm dizzy. Oh, no. Jeez.